Hi, it's Carrie. In today's 5 Minute Friday, I'm going to follow up from last week where I built a beautiful search concept for PubMed on pressure ulcer, pressure injury, and I'm going to take that same search and translate it into Embase syntax. So let me show you how quick and easy that is. I doubt this will even be a 5 Minute Friday. Here's our PubMed search and I have to do a few things before we run this in Embase. And the first thing is get rid of the medical subject heading and find the Embase, mtree term. So I'll go back to Embase and we'll go back to mtree and let's just remind ourselves what was pressure injury in mtree. It was decubitus, so just click on that, copy will explode because we have these terms represented in our search. I'll go back to my Word document here, so let's just make a note that and this is just one concept of probably a much larger search. We're just being theoretical here. Here's Embase. So here's our subject heading. We'll just say explode. I do like to have things in quotes, and I actually really like things in lowercase because case doesn't matter. And so in, in Embase, it's a single quote, not a double quote. Now, we can just take this here and paste it below. We just have to format it for Embase. So I'm going to replace the double quotes with single quotes. You could do this all at once, or you can do it in pieces. doesn't matter. And we'll replace the TW with T-I-A-B-D-E, uh, which is descriptor. I think they have KW and KF. That might just be an Ovid. Anyway, check the documentation. We'll replace all and say nope. Alright, there's our beautiful Embase filter. There's our beautiful Embase concept and you could technically have the term and then have all these terms on a separate line and put T-I-A-B-D-E at the end of that line. But whatever, right? Okay, so we're going to copy this. Make sure it runs nicely in Embase. So we'll go back to search and we'll go to advanced. That's where you probably should be searching anyway. And we'll paste it here before I hit enter. I want I don't want any mapping. I don't want any of this stuff. So I uncheck all of that and I'll click search. And I get 35,246. Now, this wasn't part of my original 5-Minute Friday plan, but if you did want to see where these are coming from, there's a lot of overlap between Embase and Medline, so you can see over here on the left what's coming from Medline versus what's coming from Embase. That's how you can translate your PubMed search into a nice, quick, and easy Embase search and get an idea of how much overlap there is. If you are searching in large biomedical databases, good luck. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.